The health of the global population is increasingly pressured by several types of malnutrition. At the same time, six of the top 11 global diseases are a result of a poor diet. Effectively, how we grow, process, transport, consume, and waste food is hurting both people and the planet. If we want to live in a future where our health and environment are not irreversibly damaged, we might want to look up sustainable diets. This means we need to provide ourselves nutrients in a way that respects our ecosystems without depleting our natural resources, while, at the same time, protecting and improving our health to avoid the onset of disease. And, on top of being nutritious, it's only fair that food should taste good. Now that's a tall order. So, how do we get started? There are various data sets and studies that have been built by reputable sources like the FAO and the Eat Lancet Commission that have set scientific targets for healthy diets and sustainable food production. The Eat Lancet Commission brought together 37 leading scientists from 16 countries in various disciplines to create a universal scientific target for the food system that applies to both people and the planet. Let's quickly remind you about what a healthy diet should consist. A healthy diet is a state of complete physical, mental and social well-being and not merely the absence of disease. This is a planetary health plate. It's a global reference diet for adults that's represented by half a plate of fruit and veggies and the other consists of whole grains, plant proteins, unsaturated plant oils, modest amounts of meat and dairy and some added sugars and starchy veg. Here's some examples of common plant proteins, beans, lentils, nuts, and tofu. Yum! Having plant-based diets can be a healthy way to achieve weight loss. Plant-based food contains fiber, which promotes smoother digestion and better heart health because of the soluble fibers. Ultimately, global consumption of fruit, vegetables, nuts, and legumes need to double, and consumption of food like red meat and sugar need to reduce by more than 50%. Like we mentioned in our last video, if we replace a meat meal a day, any meal, the world's consumption will drop by 50%. Here's what you can do. Love yourself, respect your body, don't follow crash diets for quick weight loss, but eat a healthy, well-balanced diet. There's no one-size-fits-all solution. Prioritize nutrition and sustainability as a choice. Try buying meat or seafood that's sustainably sourced. Look out for certifications on the packaging. And here's our favorite quote from Michael Pollan. Eat food, not too much, mostly plants. If you'd like to know more, check out Michelle Lau, Registered Dietitian and Nutrition's episode. If you like this video, don't forget to follow us and learn more. Follow our series, Misplaced by Living Farms.